Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7 series. In this session, we will be tackling a problem adapted from Karuthar's textbook. So presented here as a multiple choice question. The problem involves the reaction of a given substrate with tributyl tin hydride and ABN yielding a specific product. The four possible product structures are given. Let's work through the reaction mechanism and find the correct answer for this question. So let's moving to the solution. So we have already discussed about tributyl tin hydride reagent, their preparation, properties and application in three parts. If anyone missed that video, you can find the link in the description box. So let's come to the our reaction. So tributyl tin hydride and ABN which react together that produce tributyl tin radical so this tributyl tin radical react with our substrate. Now closely look our substrate. So our substrate doesn't has any halogenator groups. So here one alkene is present and one epoxide also present. So therefore this tributyl tin radical quickly attack this alkene. So now you see so one of electron comes here then this alkene one of electron comes here which join the formation of new carbon tin bond at the same time one of the electrons moves here and which triggered to open the epoxide ring which resulting that to produce this alkoxy radical so now you see this intermediate has one alkene so because here you see this one of electrons comes here then followed by this epoxide carbon oxygen bond homolytic cleavage takes place so one of electron moves here which resulting to formation of this alkene intermediate so now you see this halgoxy radical for our convenience we can redraw this structure like this now this halgoxy radical going to abstract the proton from this fifth position through 1,5 hydrogen atom abstraction here some of them should have Question, why particularly 1,5 hydrogen atom abstraction instead of 1,3 or 1,4 hydrogen atom abstraction? Since this 1,5 hydrogen atom abstraction undergo by six-membered cyclic chair-like transient state, which is energetically feasible, so therefore this 1,5 hydrogen atom abstraction takes place to produce this new carbon center radical. So now you see this intermediate. So this carbon center radical react with this alkene. So for this we can redraw the structure like this. So now you start the numbering. So now you see this carbon center radical going to react with fifth position since the formation of small membered ring system is favored when compared to the larger ring system in radical cyclization reaction. So now you see this radical react with fifth position phi exo trick cyclization manner so now you see another electron moves here then followed by this carbon tin bond homolytic cleavage takes place to kick off this tributyl tin radical so along with this alkene product so now you note it down the stereochemistry so now you see so this group present at the bottom phase so therefore this radical should attack this alkene by bottom phase to which resulting that this hydrogen atom coming to the top phase. So now you see this stereochemistry of this OBN group. So this one present at the wavy bond which means that this particular compound present as a mixture of diastereo isomer. So which means that this radical can present at the either bottom phase or top phase which respect to this carbon center so which yield this mixture of diastereo isomers so let's move into the our question so based on our discussion the correct answer for this question is answer b so, so here you see a practice problem so when you get your free time you just give you a try so this problem is based on 1,5 hydrogen atom abstraction so you can find the answer for this question in our community tape. I hope this explanation has helped you to understand this question. If you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe Chem or Chem 
and finally thanks for watching bye bye